It is not over. You are not done. It is not too late. What matters is that you believe in you. What matters is that you believe in your vision. You simply have to give it everything you have to get it. You need to shut down all negativity and frankly, not give a shit what others say and think. You want to know what the 10 most dangerous words in the English language are? What will other people say? And what will other people think? Celebrate the small wins. If we keep looking at the big picture, if we keep looking at the end game, if that's all we fix our eyes on, then we'll get off kilter. We'll lose our footing and we'll walk around discouraged because you're not going to just wake up in one day and fulfill destiny. It's the process that's perfecting us. So are you willing to make the tough decision? Are you willing to get up every time you fall? Success looks glamorous from the outside looking in, but there is always a price to pay. Do what makes you happy and do what you think is right. At the end of the day, if you and you alone can look yourself in the mirror and be content with the choices you've made, then that's all that matters. I don't care what your background is. I don't care what the story is. Only you know your story. Only you know your journey. But you got to make sure you understand how this thing is made. You're running this race by yourself. So don't worry what place you come in. I want you to start. I want you to finish. And I want you to never give up. If you're not hungry, if you don't have the grit, if you don't have the tenacity, then you're not going to get what you're looking for. But you gotta have that mindset that quitting is not an option. Give up? Who me? Never. Stop? Who me? Never. That's for the next guy. That's for the next girl. But not me. Why? Cause I don't quit. That ain't how I do it. That ain't how I roll. I never give up. If you truly want that greatness, you got to work hard. You got to dig a little bit deeper. You got to find it. You got to go after it. Because it's not looking for you. Success is not looking for you. You got to go get it. What is it that you can do today to get closer to the manifestation of the future? What are you doing today? What are you giving today? The sacrifices, the tears, the late nights, the early mornings, all of it will be worth it. So, you know, one of your biggest problems is that you keep thinking that there is another you. And for me, I started to accomplish more than I ever have in my life when I realized that there's nobody like me and there's nobody that can do what I can do. You have to come to the resolve today, now, that you don't need anyone's permission to make your dream a reality. It may not always go the way you want, but at the end of the day, you have to understand that there's a reason for you. And there's a reason why things happen. Once those things have been figured out, now you're going to move on to purpose. Purpose has already been written. It has a bottom line to it. There is no, was this supposed to happen? There was no coincidence attached to it. It was meant to be. It is going to happen no matter what you think of. I think about how any of us feel in this world. Purpose has already been made. See, we're not supposed to tuck our dreams in on the pillow when we get up in the morning. We're not supposed to leave them at home and go and fulfill somebody else's dream. We're not supposed to do that. That's not what we're wired to do. That's not who we are. Your human spirit doesn't care about the economy. The human spirit doesn't care that my son's father went to prison. My, the human spirit doesn't care what's happened to your family. The human spirit doesn't care about the past. You may have been molested or your family may have been broke or, or you may have been betrayed or you may have a divorce. Your human spirit doesn't care about any of that. Your human spirit simply says, what's our command for today? Tomorrow. Every room you walk into, you show up and you show out and you leave it all on the table. Remember your passion. 
when you don't see a light at the end of your tunnel, you got to remember the light that is burning inside of you that nobody is able to put out. There is not a person on this planet that can stop you. I know there are a lot of people out there that always seem that they want to go back or saying that they have to get back to something. The goal is, is to move forward. Don't ever get yourself in a position where you feel you have to always go back or saying that you have to get back to doing what you used to do or getting back to what you had before or whatever. The goal is to move forward. The best thing you can do is try your very best not to fall off track. There are three types of people in this world. There are people who watch things happen. There are people who wonder what happened. And there are people who make things happen. You got to determine which person you are. You can make a wish or you can make it happen. You must first believe that you can, that you will, that you must. But you are no longer willing to tolerate being in the room of failure. Then that's when you're going to break free. See, either you don't want to be as great as you really are. And you're trying to dim your light so that others won't feel insecure about themselves in your presence. And so you keep playing at 79 watts when you know you're supposed to shine at 159 watts. And you keep checking the temperature of the room to see what the room can handle versus just giving the room you and letting them, if, the, if your light's too bright, then let them put on some shades. Can you give yourself permission to live in the duality of your imperfections and your smallness and what you're learning and what you still have to learn and your greatness and your brilliance and your light? Can you allow them to coexist and then serve them up to the world? To love you, to see you, to inhale you, to judge you, to leave you, to love you. Some of us are just as afraid of being loved as we are to be left. Get up, work hard, put some effort into what you want out of life because all you have is you. All you have is what you have inside. Don't wait for somebody to tell you what to do. You know what you need to do. Get out there and get it done because that's ultimately what it's going to take. You have to have the courage, the will, and everything you have inside to get to the level and beyond the level you want to be. What's up, man? You made it back. Another 24 hours down. It's incredible. I'm proud of you for that. And I know you don't want to be here. I get it. That state of mind. It's tough. I understand that. But don't quit. Because if you quit, you're going to wind up right back where you started. Remember when you started how bad and how desperate you were to be right where you are right now? Yeah, I remember that. You got to keep that same attitude, man. You got to keep moving forward. Keep pushing it. Don't allow fear of failure and the, the, the allure, the attractiveness of playing it safe in life to draw you in. You can't get out of life alive. You got to die to leave here. When you're asleep, ladies and gentlemen, you need your dreams. I'm here to tell you that when you're wide awake, you also need your dreams dreams. You must have your goals. You'll never make it as a wandering generality. You must become a meaningful specific. If you're going to work tomorrow because that's what you did yesterday, you're not going to be as good tomorrow as you were yesterday because now you're two days older and no closer to the goal which you do not have. I'm telling you to keep going when you face opposition. I'm telling you to keep going when you face adversity. I'm telling you to keep going because years from now, when you look back, make sure you remember one thing about this moment. That you gave everything you had. That you leaned in on those late nights and those early morning wake-ups. The hours upon hours in the books, the preparation, dedication, and the resilience. That you knew who you were and let it manifest and lead you into the future. Hello, you can't get out of life alive. So there's no safe position. You can die in the bleachers or you can die on the field. You might as well come out on the field and have a good time, right? No problem is permanent. 
or you start thinking the problem's pervasive because I haven't handled my finances, my whole world's over, or because my relationship's bad, my whole world's over, or all this is happening because there's something wrong with me. Your life is bigger than that. People need a new perspective, and you can't do it by just sitting and thinking. You gotta move your body, you gotta change your energy and your focus, because low level of energy, I don't think I'm how smart you are, you're not gonna use all your ability. But if I get you into a higher state of being, mentally, emotionally, physically, then all of a sudden you start remembering who you are and you start coming up with answers that you never even thought were possible before. Doesn't it really astonish you that you are this fantastically complex thing? And that you're doing all of this and you never had any education in how to do it? You never learned, but you're this miracle? It's one of the great wonders of life. You aren't here to simply survive or navigate foreign territory. No, you, you were made for this moment. Most of us have been conditioned not to, to take a risk. People ask me all the time, what does it take to be happy? And I always tell them it's really simple. One word, progress. Progress equals happiness. If you keep growing, you're gonna feel alive. And if you keep growing, you're gonna have more to give. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. Doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level, but it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, let's. Things I know I should do, I don't do. Things I shouldn't do, I do. I found that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. If you're willing to endure, to hang in just a little bit longer, give just a little bit more, if you're willing to put all of yourself into the task before you, you may just be amazed at what life gives back. The greatest ability that God has given humankind above the animals is the ability to choose. A dog can't be anything but a dog. A cat can't be anything but a cat. A human being has the power to choose. We can choose. And I'm asking you, what do you see in the future for you? What brought you here today? What caused you to get up? What is it that you're looking for? You get to choose as much as you want. You get to design it any way you choose. You're not sentenced to your future. You have an opportunity to your future. How do you want it? And if it doesn't make you a little afraid, then you ain't playing big enough. You all have your own unique rhythms and daily habits and things that you need to achieve and the things that you need to accomplish so that you look in the mirror and you feel like, yes, I can. Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why fly the Atlantic? There's a choice. You have to choose for your happiness. You have to choose for your well-being. You have to choose for your family. You have to choose for your health and wellness. You have to choose for success. When I made a decision to follow my destiny, I felt it calling me. My destiny was calling me. That's one small step for man. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. One giant leap for mankind. You have time. You have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Your heart, your life, your happiness is your responsibility and your responsibility alone. One day you're going to realize your life is yours 
and there's a lot of people important to you that surround it, but ultimately it's yours. Then you must decide where you want to invest this life. Invest in something worthwhile. You have to picture yourself there. Wherever it is, you've got to picture yourself there. All right, the next step is you've got to believe it. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth, and your own somebodiness. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. They were going to make a change and then they made it. This is your moment. It's not tomorrow. It's not next year. It's not when you're going to graduate. It's right here, right now. And every choice you make, you're impacting that thing. We're going to be lying. You know, when a lion is injured, when a lion is bleeding, he licks his wounds and he keeps walking. Your time is one of the most powerful tools you will ever have. Lay hold up. You lay hold up. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will be like a shark. You will think like a shark. And you can't go backwards. And if you stop swimming, you will die. If life knocks you down, try and land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. This is the year of the world. Act like you hear me. This is the year of the world. This is the year of the world. Act like you. The moment and the time for you to change your life is now. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. You choose what you're looking for because what you look for, you find. That's how life works. Make good choices, great things happen. But you've got to believe in you. So I believe. Well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. I want to skip the flattery and the attaboys, because I do know this. The sooner that we become less impressed with our life, with our accomplishments, with our career, with whatever that prospect is in front of us, the sooner we become less impressed and more involved with that and these things, the sooner we get a whole lot better at doing it. It's like we've forgotten who we are now. Explorers, pioneers, not caretakers. Now, why do you pursue things that scare you? Why seek the role that's hard? Because it costs me something. Because it costs. It comes with a price. It's not really a risk unless you can lose the fight. I feel more alive in them. I have an experience in the making of them. I'm nervous every day I come to work. Things you can get away with in this world and everything you can. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it. Get on it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. I feel like when I nail a day and I knock it and I know I did, I feel like, yes. I, get, I, I have a measure at the end of the day of like, you set out to do something, you prepared for it, you had intention, and you did it. That gives me gratification. That makes me feel, gives me significance. That gives me confidence. So be brave, have courage, and when you do, you get stronger, you get more aware, you get more respectful of yourself and that which you fear. I want to talk about our opponent this afternoon. The bigger, faster stronger, more experienced, and on paper, they're just better, and they know it too.
want to tell you something that they don't know. They don't know your heart. What, because heading out there is what I feel like I was born to do? And it excites me. Just because you can? Nah, come on. It's not a good enough reason to do something. Even when it means having more. Be discerning. Choose it because you want it. Do it because you want to. It's on you. It's on you. You will have to become someone you've never been before. You want to go somewhere you've never gone? You got to do something you've never done. You got to say something you've never said. You got to go to a place in you that you've never even been. You get to redesign. You are your Michelangelo. You are your greatest sculpture. And you get to recarve and you get to up level as much as you need. You're not sentenced to this life this way. You chose it. You get to choose as much as you want. You get to design it any way you choose. You're not sentenced to your future. You have an opportunity to your future. What do you want and how do you want it? And if it doesn't make you a little afraid, then you ain't playing big enough. Your knees are supposed to knock a little bit. Your teeth are supposed to chatter a little bit. There's supposed to be at least two butterflies in your stomach. At least. Because if not, you're playing inside your comfort zone. And we mistake the fact that we're supposed to be comfortable 24-7. Well, let me tell you something. Comfortable is equivalent to complacent. I'll choose inconvenience every day, any day, to make a difference on the planet. I don't mind being mildly to moderately to significantly inconvenienced to leave my fingerprints on this planet. So I just came to talk to the game changers and to the change agents who are willing to confront any part of you that's not speaking to your madly, wildly amazing future. I own my light. I own my brilliance. I am bold. I am courageous. I'm perfect in my imperfection. This is my time. This is my time. I'm bright enough. I'm old enough. I'm young enough. I'm wise enough. I understand that I am enough. Breathe. Own it. Own it. It doesn't matter how many statues, Oscars they give you, or Emmys, or how much money you have in the bank. We've all seen people have all those things, and I get the phone call because they're depressed, or somebody commits suicide in that area. So it's really an inner game, and I think that's what's missing for us today. Everybody's focusing on the outside world, and hell, there's a lot of things in the outside world you'll never be able to control. You can influence, but you can't control it. This, your mind, your emotions, your body, you have 100% control over what you do with these things, and that's where the game is won. You win the inner game, then you win the outer game. But a lot of people spent their life trying to win the outer game, they won, and they're miserable. We're always worrying. Did I think this over long enough? Did I take enough data into consideration? And if you think it through, you find you never could take enough data into consideration. The data for a decision in any given situation is infinite. So what you do is, you go through the motions of thinking out what you will do about this. And then when the time comes to act, you make a snap judgment. It's amazing how often it works. It's necessary that you, you have the mindset that I can do this. 
You've got to begin to believe and to fortify that belief and feed that belief by listening to tapes, going to seminars and workshops, by challenging yourself, by stretching yourself. Don't get so wrapped up in what happened yesterday that you miss out on the opportunities that are waiting for you today. Remember, whenever one door closes, there is another door waiting for you. So to me, success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. And so many people are focused on success still, which to me is like, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's like success is getting what you want. Fulfillment is living what you're made for. To take the risk of doing what we want, which will work to the extent that we realize that what I want, basically, what I really want is what you want. And I don't know what you mean. But I never would have discovered what I'm able to do right now if I wasn't willing to take a chance. And you've got to be willing to do that. You've got to believe in yourself. All right, I want to change the world. I want to make the world a better place. I want to fulfill the promise. I want to make a difference. I want to be different from my own life. I want to be successful. How do you do it? One day, one choice, one minute, one hour, one second, one decision at a time. You want to become a risk taker. You want to raise the bar on yourself. Most people won't do that. See, most people engage in low life living, low risk living. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. And if you cannot become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? When you're serious about changing, all of you need to do, you don't have to tell anybody you're changing, just do it. Let your life speak, let your life scream, let your life shout, and let it speak so loud, it will speak volumes and nobody can ignore it. Don't be offended if nobody else believes in you. You believe in you. You start making good choices. You start making good decisions. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl, but by all means, keep moving.